Advanced Strategic Bomber TU-160, also known as the White Swan, designed to use nuclear and conventional bombs to hit enemy targets in remote places. This ability will allow Russia to hit targets deep inside enemy territory. Mr. S. It's one of the most powerful guns of the Russian Federation Armed Forces. We're likely to see widespread use of self-propelled guns. The first cases of successful use already exists. Recently, we saw the destruction of S-300 air defense systems of the Armed Forces of Ukraine. Tulip also known as Dangerous Flower. It weighs a whopping 130 kg and carries well over 30 kg of explosives. Firing range is up to 10 kilometers. The mortar with the largest caliber in active service in the world. When used for urban street fighting support, it is known as the Demolisher as it can take down large structures within a single fire. Poseidon Nuclear Torpedo, an unmanned underwater vehicle that carries a nuclear warhead, it allows you to destroy coastal cities in minutes, forming a tsunami with the height of over 100 meters. But the Russian army would rather use such weapons against NATO members than in Ukraine, so the Poseidon can be ignored for now. Hypersonic weapons such as Russia's 3M22 Zircon, which fly so fast and so low, they can penetrate traditional anti-missile defense systems. The missile flies with an advanced field that the Russians say can give it up to a thousand kilometers, and it's so fast that the air pressure in front of the weapon forms a plasma cloud as it moves, absorbing radio waves and making it practically invisible to active radar systems. Whether these weapons will help Russia win will be shown in the near future. United States strongly recommends that Ukraine promptly withdraws its troops from the Donbass and concentrate them in large cities because it's the framework of street fighting that the units of the armed forces of Ukraine have an advantage. However, it appears Zelensky wants to play ball with Putin. Let's hope there's some peace deal. Otherwise, what will happen in the Donbass could spark a global conflict. Destroyer of worlds. I suppose we all thought that one way or another.